Hey guys, it's Crypto Llama here, and today I wanted to talk about my top five favorite investment opportunities within the Splinterlands multi token ecosystem. For the individuals who are lucky enough to have some liquid assets available to invest, there are some incredible opportunities happening right in front of our eyes in Splinterlands right now, which are just waiting to be taken advantage of. At number five, we have vouchers, and being a measurement of staking days, vouchers are the incentivization and reward for staking SPS. They are distributed at a rate of 20,000 per day, depending on your percentage of SPS staked. As it's been said multiple times previously, these tokens are going to be a crucial element in the sales promotion and all the coolest assets in Splinterlands. As an example, the Chaos Legion pre-sale was only available to voucher holders, which also came with the added value in the airdrop of valuable card assets. Limited edition promo cards such as Wacker Spirit Blade also required vouchers, and of course the upcoming validator node sale will as well. Future utility has been hinted in the form of a voucher store, as well as many more collaborations for more promo cards in the future. 100% of the vouchers used during the ongoing sale of the validator node tranches over the coming years will be burned. This will continue to limit the supply and increase the demand. And with the now stipulated voucher floor price mentioned with the sale of each tranche level, the current price of $1.25 taking its future utility and usage into consideration makes these tokens highly undervalued. As an example, if only 10,000 licenses were ever sold, which is highly unlikely, vouchers will have a value of $5. If all validator licenses end up being sold, even if that does take multiple years to materialize, you'd be looking at an ROI of 24x. In my number four spot, we have land. And if you've been paying attention, there's no secret that this asset is gonna be one of the most important additions to the Splinterverse. With only 150,000 plots ever created and being the only way to mint meta shifting item and spell cards, which will have a tremendous effect on the game, these assets are destined to be one of the most important, scarce and valuable assets within Splinterlands. Moreover, because each plot is assigned a rarity much like our card assets, this opens the door for the potential of even greater returns if you're indeed lucky enough to pull a castle or keep, which considering their minute quantity will likely be worth tens of thousands of dollars. These aforementioned item and spell cards will be able to be sold on the third party markets. But if you're more of an investor than a player, you can simply skip this step entirely and just rent out your land to other players and ride out those passive returns. Phase one is due to hit in Q3 2022, where we can view our land's rarity, convert, buy, sell, and transfer the land deeds. Whereas Q1 2023 is the forecasted arrival where we can utilize these assets within the game to obtain those juicy rewards. Having dropped to an astounding 178 USD last week from the previous $1,000 highs we saw last year, one can only imagine the type of price action we see once they are released able to be used and profited from within the game. And with only 150,000 supply available, you're going to want to get a piece of this. At number three, we have cards and being the base asset to realize play to earn rewards in Splinterlands, now is one of the best times that there's ever been to purchase these deflationary assets. And this is partly attributed to the recent declines we've seen over the past few months which is synonymous with the decline seen in the greater crypto market. Furthermore, it's not unusual to see 100% plus price increases on these assets, and with the nerf to rank rewards for using the starter cards approaching, the introduction of the wild and modern format, the ability to acquire bonus rewards through the SPS airdrop over the next 80 days, the upcoming SPS rank reward system, the percentage bonus reward increases for each earlier edition card used, the requirement of these assets to unlock the full potential of the upcoming land release, the plentiful in-game tournaments involving significant SPS rewards, the PKM token airdrops available on bulk card purchases, on peak monsters where users can essentially capture a portion of the fees from the sale of those cards on the card market. And all this combined with prices that we haven't seen since before the card boom last year, there simply has not been a better time for both newer and seasoned players alike to accumulate. Coming in at number two, and because of the passive investment returns entailed, we have validated. 
At the end of this month, the pre-sale for validator licenses will go live. This pre-sale will require a portion of both SPS and vouchers to purchase a license which will be sold over the following stages. 3,750,000 SPS per month as well as an extra 20,000 vouchers per day will then be split equally amongst these licenses. The amount of rewards will all depend on just how many tranches are sold before we can utilize these licenses in Q4 later this year. But if we stay on the conservative side of things with the first two tranches selling out, this will mean 5,000 validators in total will share a portion of these rewards. In this example, each validator would receive 750 SPS and 120 odd vouchers per month. Also, the freedom to buy, sell and trade these licenses will be available for those that wish to do so on third party markets. Now, although as we progress through the release of these further tranches, rewards will diminish, this will be offset by the increase in value seen through the cost per license and the value of SPS rewards implied. If you're as bullish as I am with SPS and you believe the price of this token will increase over time, this could be a great way to make meaningful long-term passive returns. And we all know just how much this llama loves a good old hodl and long-term investments. It's difficult to do an exercise in ROI currently because this will all come down to the value of SPS at the time and how many licenses have been sold. However, the way the pricing has been structured means that the sale of more licenses will only occur if the value of SPS is congruent with the profitability of the license. Consequently, the rewards associated with these licenses will always be meaningful. My number one investment pick and the granddaddy of all Splinterlands assets is SPS. And I know you saw it coming. SPS forms the main source and standard of utility for which nearly all other tokens within the Splinterverse derive their value. It's going to be damn near impossible not to see some serious upwards pressure materialize from SPS with the following playing a role in doing just that. The entire Rift Watchers set will be sold exclusively in SPS. This will have a potential value of $15 million that will go straight into the foundation treasury where SPS holders and stakers will decide its fate. Multiple SPS burns will also transpire through the sale of validator nodes, but it's also possible for these to be extended into a portion of the SPS from the foundation treasury through the use of governance system votes. Through the use of technical analysis, we are also at the lower portion of the trading range where long-term buying opportunities exist in spades. And there has been some revolutionary upcoming utility hinted by the Splinterlands team. Short-term decreased distribution is taking place from the private sale, whilst the land expansion promises to heavily feature the staking of SPS. Increased voucher utility is on the horizon and rank rewards have been said to increase for stakers as well. For all these reasons and many more to come, it is my opinion that this is going to be the best investment in the Splinterlands ecosystem for 2022. And that's it for me for now, guys. Join our Splinterlands conversation by checking out the community Discord where you can participate in numerous giveaways. You can find the details for that in the video description below. Hit the like and subscribe button so you can keep up to date with all my latest Splinterlands content. But other than that, I will see you on the blockchain.